hey, let's talk now about AutoML in Power BI, but without having a premium subscription or a pro subscription or whatever it is in Power Service, Power BI service. This is essentially a, a, a library in Python that we're going to be using. And for this, you need to install Python, okay, in your computer. I recommend Jupyter Notebook and Anaconda because it comes with a bunch of packages. And then after this, you need to install in your Python, in your IDE, uh, the, the package called PyCaret uh, equals 2.0, okay? So after you have all of that done, if you can, you can bring this GitHub uh, insurance data set here. You, if you type insurance in, uh, in a GitHub uh, data set, you'll find it. Um, and then you bring it to Power BI. Once you bring it to Power BI, uh, go to Power Query, duplicate like this, the, the data set, and then create this one. Once you create this one, you see uh, this page here, essentially, and then Power BI is going to promote the headers, change the types. And then this is actually where the magic happens. Uh, this is a Python script that you're going to add to it by going to transform and then Python. And then if you come here to Python script, you're going to be typing this. I have here in a, in a notepad plus plus so you guys can see it. Essentially is let's import the regression mode, uh, regression package, package library from PyCaret, and then do the initial setup, choosing the data set, because Power BI, uh, by, by standard, it, should, it calls the data set data set, not insurance auto ML table. And then the target that you want to use, it's charges. So you want to see charges, OK? Um, silent true and also HTML falls. And then you want to create, you're going to be creating and comparing models. And then you're going to be choosing the best model, OK? And what PyCare is going to be doing for you, it's, hey, get the best model here, finalize all of them together, and show me the best. And then once you show me the best, please uh, save this best model as a pickle file in the directory that you're going to be showing them, OK? and then. Once you finish this, pull everything. Uh, and this is the final result of it. Essentially, PyCarrot is going to show you all the, the models that they have trained. And with a few lines of code, you have 22 models trained for you. Okay, What you want to an analyze here, it's the R2, R squared of the models. Okay, So essentially, we can see here that the gradient boosting regressor, it's the one with the highest R squared. With this in mind, this one was the one saved as a pickle file. Now, you go to the table that you had, uh, nothing applied yet, uh, and then it's going to look like this with a change type, OK? So I renamed some columns, uh, and then I ran a Python script. This Python script here essentially says, hey, load me here the regression model from PyCaret, OK? And then import the load model and the predict model that I have created from the pickle file. And where can I find this model, Marcus? This is the place where I can fi find it, OK? And then right after this, well, give me the data set with uh, the prediction and everything that you want to predict, which is charges, OK? So it's going to give me here a data set. And then once it finishes your t the load, you're going to see the data set. All right, so here it's finalized. And as you guys can see, we have charges. But now we have an addition which is this new column. And this new column is the charges prediction that we created by running the model throughout the data set, OK? Finishing this, you go to uh, Home and then Close and Apply. You wait your data to load. Of course, mine, mine is, is loading here, and it's done. And one thing I have created, it was in the table with the predictions. I came here, and I created this new column. And this new column essentially is, hey, give me the charges, uh, subtract by this one here, and then give me the percentages, which is going to mean the difference between uh, both of them together, which is charges and addiction. What's the percentage difference between them? And here we have it to see how good was the model and uh, how far away was the model also comparing to, uh, to the predictions and the actual charges. All right, uh, with this, we can conclude this little demo of I care at being used in Power BI. The fun part here is that if you publish this report to, uh, to Power BI service, this model is going to be running in the back end while you refresh the data. So if you like your model, uh, it's going to be reapplied and reapplied to all the refreshes that you're going to be having in your data set, meaning that 
um, you will have AutoML model running your Power BI dashboard. And to this, we can create a bunch of new stuff here, like uh, like a different dashboard, or just like the one I've done for the churn uh, appliance for a telecom for the telecom companies. Okay, awesome. See you guys.